Namaskaram, once again, seventh International Day of Yoga, seventh anniversary of this wonderful possibility of uh, yoga being acknowledged as a science of inner well-being. Not a religion, not a belief system, not a philosophy or ideology, but the science of inner well-being. As there are sciences for external well-being, this is a science for inner well-being. On this day, uh, over fifteen thousand years ago, Adi Yogi turned south. As the sun's trajectory in relation to the planet turns south on this day, it's called the uh, uh, summer solstice. On this day, he turned south and began to propound the signs of yoga. So this is a day that's been declared as International Day of Yoga. This particular International Day of Yoga is more significant than ever before. Simply because of the pandemic, we have realized as a generation of people how our lives can be just turned upside down. All of a sudden, without warning, the pandemic. So at a time like this, building a vibrant and resilient body, a joyful and focused mind, and indefatigable sense of energy within you is most essential to fight these external invasions, which scientists are predicting may happen again and again. Still, the pandemic is not over. We cannot say this is post-pandemic. This is pandemic season still. Already we have seen two waves in India and across the world, also in many different countries. The authoritative voices in this arena of life of virology are saying this could last much longer than we have imagined. So, it's extremely important that we build a system, we build a body which is resilient and a mind which is balanced and exuberant so that we can go through these rigors of life with least amount of uh, mm, distortions to our lives. So yoga is a tremendous possibility. Yoga is not a simple form of exercise. This is a complex mechanism, understanding the mechanics of human existence, how we are made and how we can take it to the highest possibility. The word yoga literally means union. That means we consciously obliterate the boundaries of our individuality to know the universal nature of our existence, how being here as a tiny little piece of life that we are in this cosmos, we are capable of experiencing the cosmos. Being here in this moment of time, we are capable of experiencing the eternal nature of this existence. This is a possibility that India offers to the rest of the world. Well, of course, there are health benefits, there are various other aspects that even to fulfill the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, this can be a very effective tool. Health care should go. Health and well-being, we must understand, can only come from within us. Doctors and scientists can help us when we are sick. But health is not something that will ever come to us from a doctor or a medical professional. It is something that has to come from within us if we understand this. Health does not mean just being disease-free. Health means you're at the peak of life. In terms of body, in terms of mind, in terms of emotions and energies, you're at the very peak possibility of your existence. This is health and we should not aim for anything less than that. Yoga has this potency, yoga has the necessary science and technology to deliver you there. These tools of self-transformation, these technologies for well-being must be employed by everybody in their lives. We at Isha, particularly for this pandemic situation, this pandemic world that we are in right now, we have created a small package which will enhance the immune system and also bring equanimity to your mind and vibrancy to your body. This is a very simple package, investing a few minutes a day, free of cost, it's available online, please make use of it. It is available in full detail and depth for those who are interested and in a simple package for, for those who want to just do a simple practice. It is available everywhere, free of cost and dedicated volunteers are always on call to attend to these possibilities with you 
and make sure that you benefit from this. Every human being on this planet should make use of it. It's my wish and my blessing. Every one of you should bring in some aspect of yoga into your life and live a complete life. It doesn't matter. Pandemic has come our way, that is the reality, but we have to come on top of this. We have to come out successfully out of this situation, not be crushed by this situation. We as human beings are capable of this. I will once again repeat that this time around, this pandemic, the sole carrier of this virus is the human being. So if human beings are into some sense of yoga, that means they have become more conscious, not a compulsive life. If this happens, controlling and restraining the pandemic, stopping it in its tracks is very much in our hands. Let's make it happen. Let's take this stand on this International Day of Yoga. We will bring yoga into our life and definitely beat the virus.